In this video, I'm going to show you how to import a save file on the PS3 emulator RPCS3. Whether you're getting a save file from your PS3 or from the internet, this method will work for both cases. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is head over to the location on the emulator where the save files are stored. And the easiest way to get there is by clicking here on Manage, then click on Save Data. The save manager window will show up and by clicking on your game here, you're gonna then click on view folder and it will take you there. But if this option is grayed out, that means you didn't play the game enough to the point where the emulator could create a save file. You know that screen when you first start a game and it says no save data found creating a new save data right now, something like that, right? When you get past the screen, then the save data will be in place and you can click on it. So by clicking on that option, it will take you to the place where your save files are going to be. But it's very important for you to know that if you are importing a save file from another RPCS3, then you just have to copy and paste that save file on this folder and then replace it with the ones you have and it will work just fine. But if you are importing that from a PS3, that save file needs to be decrypted before you can use it here on the emulator. And one of the ways you can do that is by using this app here, the Apollo Save Tool. So on this page of GitHub, I'll put the link on the description. You're gonna click here on whatever it is the latest version available. And under Assets, you're gonna download this file right here, Apollo PS3.pkg. I already downloaded the file and I placed it on the emulator folder here because this is a PKG file, so it needs to be installed. So now you're going to go back to the emulator, click on file and then click on install packages. Now navigate to the folder where you downloaded the Apollo file, double click on it, click on yes to install and just like that it will appear right here. Before running Apollo, I'm going to grab a save file for Tekken 6 and GameFAQ is one place where you can get a bunch of save files for your games. And there is one here for Tekken 6 that has a 100% save for the game. And because this is a save file from the PS3, it needs to be decrypted before we can use it on the emulator. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this download and I'm going to place this file to the folder where my save files from Tekken 6 are located. That save file that I got from GameFAQs is a zip file. So if I open this one, you're gonna see that I have files exactly like the ones in game, but these ones are not decrypted, like I explained. So I'm gonna grab everything here and just drag and drop to this file. It will ask to replace them. Go ahead and do that. They are now in place. I'm gonna delete the zip file here and we have to decrypt these files here. So now I'm gonna start the Apollo save too. Just double click on it. When you open it for the first time, it's going to compile these PPU modules. This is normal, but it shouldn't take long to complete here. Now inside the Apollo Save 2, you're going to head over here to HDD Saves. Click on this one and you should see a list of the games you currently have a save file for. So press the X button and then you're going to click here on Decrypt Save Game Files and it should open all the save files for that game. In this case, for Tekken 6, there are three files in here. But whatever is the case, you're going to click on each one of them to decrypt everything. I'm going to start with this ghost.save file. There you go. Successfully decrypt. Open again. Do the same for the second. And one more time. There you go. You're noticing that it's saying here on screen the folder location where the decrypted files are located. That is where we're going to head over right now. So after you're done decrypting this, you can close this program. And now you're going to open your RPCS3 folder. And that folder is located here. Double click on dev hdd0, then the TMP folder, and then the Apollo folder, a folder with the serial code of your game. And inside we have the decrypted files. So you're going to copy everything here, select everything right click, copy, and you're going to paste this on your game save file location. We can just do the same as before. Click on manage, save data, click on your game, view folder, and now just paste the files. Right click the folder, paste. It will ask you to replace the files in a destination. Click on yes, and there you go. 
The save files are ready and good to go. I have many emulation tutorial videos like this on the channel, so if you like what you saw, don't forget to check out my other stuff, subscribe to the channel, and as always, I'll see you soon.